There are two ways to build a road, with concrete or asphalt. But which way is best? For drivers? For taxpayers? In 2004, the Ohio Department of Transportation began a test project. The results of that test are in, and we've got an answer. The project tested long-lasting economical concrete versus an asphalt process known as perpetual pavement. Perpetual pavement has been touted as an asphalt that is built to last several decades with little need for reconstruction. Think of it as the best asphalt has to offer. Concrete is, well, concrete. The project was conducted on a four-lane divided highway, US 30 in Northeast Ohio. The westbound lanes were constructed with asphalt. The eastbound lanes were constructed with concrete. The scope and length of the project were the same for both west and eastbound lanes. The same contractor was used for both sides. Concrete versus asphalt. It's an apples to apples comparison of the best way to build a road. This is that stretch of road today. The westbound side, which was constructed with asphalt, has needed numerous repairs. And finally, a complete resurfacing project, which totaled $1.8 million. The eastbound side, which was constructed in concrete, is still going strong with no repairs scheduled. The results of the project are clear. Concrete passes the test, but not asphalt. You might be asking, okay, so what about the cost? Doesn't concrete cost more? Back in 2004, concrete did cost a little more. Initially, for this project, there was a cost difference of about 8%. But if you add the cost of the asphalt repairs, the concrete actually ended up being cheaper. And over the past decade, asphalt has jumped in price. If the same project were bid today, there would be no difference in cost. The bottom line? Choose concrete. It passes the test. It lasts, and there's no difference in cost. So. What was the debate again?